Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So uh, we are now on the second uh, lecture and in this lecture I have to show you how we can do bridging between two ports on the NetGate. So as you can see here we have a lab of two ports. Let me first explain to you what we need to do in this lab and then I will come back to the points and start doing them. So we have seen on the PFSense uh, appliance that we have the LAN port where my computer is connected but also we have this optional port as well which we can call it like LAN2 port. So my PFSense is connected to the internet, my computer connected to the LAN, it can go to the internet. Now if I take the cable out from the LAN and put it on this port, then I don't have internet. So the idea is that why should I leave this port unused? I want to use that port at home, maybe I have to connect to it, uh, maybe my NAS server. So uh, for some storage, or I want to connect to it uh, my uh, smart TV, or I want to connect to it whatever. So I want to use this port to also provide internet as well with the LAN. So what I can do, I can make something we call it a bridge. So I bridge those two ports together. So that means those two ports becomes like, for the NetGate appliance, becomes like one interface. So the router see them like an interface. And um, those uh, two ports, they become like uh, one port, as I said, and we put on those two ports an IP. So I'll put an IP address, and then I will enable the HCP. And then if you connect any on, on any of those two ports, then this the, the HCP server will give IP addresses to the devices. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my cable from this line, and I put it on this port. And I'm going to see if my computer will be able to go to the internet. So again, we are going to do bridging. We bridge those two ports together to profit from this port because it's just sitting there. So why should uh, not uh, we use it to provide internet to us? Or maybe you can possibly put a switch here. So you connect a switch and then on this switch you connect all devices. So that's also possible. You can do that. So that is what we are going to do in uh, this uh, lab. Let's go now back to the points and start doing them. Point number one, make bridging between LAN, which is the interface I'm connected to, and LAN 2, which is the option one uh, interface, and enable the HCP server on that bridge. So let's go directly to the PFSense, and uh, this is the dashboard. So we start from here. So we have to accept some conditions, terms and conditions they have. So this is the dashboard, very good. Of course, on the dashboard, you can play with that. So, that, for example, I don't want this to show, so I can remove it. I can leave those ones. So you can see, look what is nice here. It shows you the IP that you have on the LAN and the IP you got from the one. You can see it's private IP. That's why I didn't block the RFC uh, 1918 because it's coming to me as private IP address. Now, you see that this port, it is disabled. It's not used. So what I need now to do, we can go to the interface and we can go to assignment. So now we don't have to do anything actually over here. Now we have to uh, go to that port and we have to enable it. So enable it and we call it LAN2, for example. There is a LAN2, so we enable it. Are you going to give uh, an IP address uh, on it? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to provide IP address on the bridge. But first, we need to enable that interface. Let's put the picture. Maybe it's better also so you can follow. So I need to uh, only enable that interface. And the, the LAN is uh, enabled. Then I bridge them together. So this is all what I need to do now. And then I will say here, save. So then they say here that uh, you have to make the apply changes. I make the apply changes. And then we wait until this is done. Very good. So this has been enabled. Now if we go to the uh, um, interface and we go to assignment. So now we have this is called now LAN2. Very good. Now what I need to do over here, you have this bridge. Do you see it? So I go to it. And then I will add those two interfaces, the LAN and LAN2, inside this, and I'll call it the bridge. All right, so that's what I need to do. And then I will say here, save. So I'm bridging those two interfaces together. Now, this uh, a bridge interface that I created, which is bridge zero, is for the router, is like an interface. Then we can put an IP on that interface. We can make the HTTP on that interface. 
So let's do that. All right. So to do that, we have first to go to the interface assignment and we have to enable that interface, which is we just added. We just enable it and then add. Now this has been added. I'm going to also go inside of it and enable it and call it bridge. So I just give it the name bridge. I'm going to put an IP on it, static IP on that interface. And the static IP, I'm going to use whatever. I can use 172.27.0.1, for example. And then it has the subnet mask slash 24. So any computer connected to any of those interfaces, LAN and LAN 2, then they should get an IP from 172.27.0. something. All right. So that's... Uh, Actually, at this moment, we didn't yet configure the bridge. The, uh, the HTTP, we are just giving an IP on that interface. And then I will say here, save. So look here what they say. The bridge has been configured. So it has been changed. Now, don't forget to adjust the DHCP server range if needed after applying. So we need to make the DHCP so it can give IP addresses to anyone connected to those two ports from the range of 172.27.0. something. All right, very good. So let's go to the DHCP server. So first, I need to take out the DHCP server from the LAN because, as I said, I don't want anymore uh, that uh, when someone connect to the LAN to be able to take IP address from from uh, 192.168.1 or something. I want it to be from the bridge. So I take out the DHCP on the LAN interface. Just I switch it off, and then I will say here save. Now I'll go to the bridge. I will enable the DHCP on the bridge for all clients. And I want to get IPs to anyone connected to those two ports from this range. 172.17.0.100 until 200. So it gives those IPs and gives DNS. So this is the DNS I'm, I really need to provide to the computers. And then I will say here, save. That's it. Now, very important to not forget as well that uh, on uh, the firewall, you have to see if it is not it. So if this, we see that 172.17.0.0 is being not it, so that's all good. And we have to be sure also that there is a rule allowing this traffic to pass. So we have to go to the bridge interface and we don't see there is a rule. So what I need to do now, I have to create one rule to say, allow everything coming to the bridge interface, anything, so any, coming from the source, which is the bridge network. Bridge network means 172.27.0. something. So anything coming from that network, which is 172.27.0. something, to the bridge interface, then allow it. That's what I need to say here. And then I will say, save and apply changes. Very good. So now this is uh, done now. What I need to do now, I'm going to take the cable out from, so you can see this is the cable is out from the PF sensor, which is my computer connected to it. And I'm going to connect it to the LAN 2 interface. So it's connected to LAN 2 interface. Let's check if I got an IP. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see. All right, very good. So IP config, let's have a look. Look, I received 172.27.0.100 right away. I received it. Now, if I ping to google.com, so I'm connected now to LAN2 and it is working. Now, I'll remove the cable from LAN2. So you see this is the cable is out. So if I make ping now, it's not working, you see. And uh, I put it again on LAN, which is the first port of the net gate. First, let's check if I received an IP, exactly 172.27.0.100. And if I make pink, it is working. So this way now I do have the two ports and the two ports are able to provide internet without any issue. Port number one is done. Port number two, check if the PC can get IP from the range of the DHCP server and it's able to go to the internet. Uh, we have checked it also and it is working. So now we have the uh, solution that now we connect to any of uh, the two ports and we can go to the internet. Now in the upcoming lab, I'm going to do another uh, scenario because, you know, at home, as I said, it's going to be at home. At home, 
we need to configure and provide internet uh, via wireless as well. So the NetGate by itself doesn't come with a wireless interface. So you, we need to have some other wireless devices to use to be able to configure them and to be able to get internet. So the wireless device has to take the internet from the NetGate and then it has to provide the wireless inside our home. So I'm going to use a Microtik access point to be able to use it as wireless. And then uh, after that, um, I'm going to connect it to the PFSense on uh, port uh, LAN 1 or LAN 2, it doesn't matter now. And then we'll see if we are going to be able to connect to the internet. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.